We are here with uh, uh, Matthias Maurer, a European uh, astronaut for ESA. Thank you for being here. And uh, the moon, why it's so important to come back to the moon with humans? Well, we all look at the night sky and what we see is the moon. So there's a human desire, a human longing to find out what's on the moon and to discover all the science um, that we can discover on the moon. So in the 1969, the first humans flew to the moon. 72 was the last humans on the moon. By now, we have discovered now so much more about the moon. And it's worthwhile to return, to go back to the moon, because there's water on the surface and there's lots of science that we can do on the moon. What are the next steps and uh, what is the timing? So actually it has already started with the Artemis program and uh, I'm not wearing by accident this shirt here where it says yes. Artemis. Um, Artemis is the program that is led by NASA but ESA is already part of it, also JAXA, our Japanese colleagues, and together we want to fly to the moon. Artemis 1 already launched in 2022, Artemis 2, which is the first time when we launch astronauts again towards the moon, first to fly around, not to land, will be in 24. And by the end of this decade, we definitely will have seen astronauts again walking on the surface of the moon. By 2030, I'm already pretty confident a European will also have stepped on the moon. How did you decide to become an astronaut and how did you do this? Yeah, so by training or by from university um, career, I'm a scientist, I'm a material science engineer, but as a kid, I already looked up to the sky and I always had the desire to see the world from above, from a, a third dimension. And uh, if you look now what an astronaut does, it is we fly to the International Space Station and in the future also to the Moon. And we do research for the benefit of us here on the ground. We uh, use the best technology that there is because otherwise you cannot fly to space. And you work in large international teams and I trained in several European countries and there's the adventure. And the combination of all these four different points is what made it for me absolutely appealing to become an astronaut. What about being in the space? How could you describe the feeling? Um, that's a very good question. Um, I think you need to ask a poet to fly to space because only he or she would have the perfect words. For me, as an engineer, it's uh, quite difficult to uh, describe it. It's, it feels Let's try. like a butterfly floating you know it's it's absolutely effortless you're floating and you see the world below you and just seeing the blue marble the, our planet it, it touches your heart and it uh, it tells you immediately in the blink of an eye that well this is the only place that we know that humans can live and everything that has ever happened in human history took place in a very thin area on the surface of our planet within the atmosphere and uh, it also tells you we need protect this place because it's unique.